love this next question because it's self-interpretive. If you could change one thing in your own life or in general, what might that be? I call it the king of the world question. Yeah. So money's no object. You know, it's, it's a blank canvas. My first instinct is to say I'd eliminate fear mm -hmm. from my life. But then I want to take that back. I don't want to say that actually because fear makes me do and think a lot of things that I need to be doing and thinking. Mm -hmm. um, it's a barometer for a lot of situations that I feel like I need. Um, I, right now, I think my answer to that question is going to be I would, if money was no object and I was the all powerful, I would put an extra 10 hours in every day. <laughs> And you wouldn't sleep, you would just I work. would get more stuff oh, done. Oh, yeah. more stuff done. Yeah. And, and, and when I say get stuff done, I mean I would be able to make more. I'd be able to mm -hmm. be in the studio more. I'd be able to you know, get, get more time in with that creative spark that I've mm -hmm. kind of been nurturing since I was four years old. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to segue for a moment before I get into the, the, another real meaty question. You know, I want to get your take on... Um, from the ballet dancer's perspective, you know, you've been one, now you manage them. Kind of, you know, uh, that, indi you know, we talked about a young individual aspiring to do mm -hmm. it. So there's that. How about the individual that for whatever reason has a great deal of talent, but they have a substance issue or, or they have a personality issue? You know, their ego is mm -hmm. not in check. How do you deal with that? How did you deal with that as a dancer? How did you deal with that as a manager or an executive director? Obviously, don't name names. <laughs> <laughs> no, thankfully, I, I actually can't name names Good. because I have been very fortunate to not have encountered that mm -hmm. personally or in any of the people that I've been working with. You know, I've in, in my early 20s, I was I went to plenty of parties and maybe drank too much beer. Um, but other than that, I, I feel like the dance world has taken a turn for the better in that we really treat it. We we treat our own bodies and we, we expect the entire company of dancers to treat their bodies like athletes. Um, there have been great strides made in dance medicine, dance science, so mm -hmm. it's, it's a tolerance, uh, there is no tolerance for neglect anymore, um, whether that be drugs or alcohol or sure. diet or smoking or anything like that. There's just no tolerance for it anymore. Mm -hmm. And um, the, the level of technique technical proficiency has gotten to a point now where you just can't, you can't maintain that level of right. athleticism if you don't treat your body well. Mm -hmm. um, one experience that I did have that I want to share with you, Thank you. was um, I was fortunate enough uh, a year after I retired, I spent one year as rehearsal director for Bangara Dance Theatre, okay. which is the indigenous dance company in Australia, mm. highly respected indigenous dance company. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I didn't have to deal with any kind of substance abuse mm -hmm. or anything like that, but those dancers come from all kinds of backgrounds. Uh, in my career, it suffices to say that all of the dancers that I danced with came from privileged backgrounds, myself included. Mm -hmm. I mean, we weren't rich, but I got a whole wealth of opportunities that a lot of young young boys didn't get. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and these dancers in Bangara were, uh, quite a lot of them came from underprivileged, underserved backgrounds. And so it was a real joy for me to work with them um, in nurturing that creative spark. Mm -hmm. Because if you, I mean, it gives me chills when I think about it actually, just watching that creativity come alive in them mm -hmm. and how it just became far more important to them than any of the behaviors that they'd learned that were going to be counterproductive. And to see these young men and women latch on to that art artistry and that um, technical proficiency as a dancer and watching all of those behaviors fall away because all they wanted to do was tell their stories. Mm.